Hello, it's Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com um, and Digital Nomad Traveler. We've got two websites. We're putting these little microsites together so that uh, you don't get confused. But uh, I'm going to put everything on Digital Nomad Traveler eventually. Okay. I want to show you today about uh, coin bags where I, uh, that I use to manage my batteries. Um, I have a camera, you know, and I try to buy cameras that uh, have use these AA batteries. And the, the reason is this is that uh, if I was, you know, if I had all my batteries dead, you know, you could have, you know, these proprietary batteries and then uh, you can't charge them if you're staying out in the jungle for five days or ten days and there's no electricity. So I can always buy these batteries. So I, I try to buy cameras with these. And then I just pop them out of the camera. And I have in my backpack, I have these two or three of these little bags. No, they do get heavy, I guess. But uh, what's nice is, is I just open them up. They're a little coin bag. Let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to discover all my cameras. I have, I have a camera in my... I haven't ever used it. But, you know, there's four batteries in there. What's nice is that they, they basically, the bag is small enough. That what you want to do is get a bag that's small enough that you cannot uh, accidentally have the ends get together, I guess, and uh, the battery lose its charge. Um, I pop them out, flop them in real quick, I take out the old batteries, put them back in the bag, and then I put it in a different place. Like Sometimes I put it outside. It's a little dangerous because I might lose it, but I... I have different places where I put it. Where I put it in my back, my my cargo pack pocket on the side of my pants. And then when I get back to my room, I put them in the charger. So I have this charger, and I'm gonna put them in here and charge them. Now, this charger is really small. It's a you know, almost everything like this is 220-110, so you don't really have to worry about that anymore, guys. Um, but uh, 220-110, it'll it'll say it on there. I mean, I don't. Think Probably buy one which, which is not ready to go with both 220 and 110, but it doesn't have a cord, and that means that I can um, I use up less space in my backpack. I, I don't want all those electrical cords because they get all tangled up and then there are problems and whatever. If I can, so even if I have a cord, sometimes I cut it off and <laughs> make it small. But uh, this is a simple little tip I'm trying to explain to you how to uh, use a little coin bag to manage your uh, batteries. Um, according to, I, I can use up to 12 batteries in a day. I suppose if I was going to, uh, you know, do a real big photo shoot and I was going to do it in uh, you know, Champs Elysees in Paris, um, and I wanted to really, really do it, I might use up to uh, 12 batteries. I, I've very seldom gone more than I think 12 batteries in one day. Uh, that's really more than you want to take. I, I mean, I average. Uh, Maybe 100 photos a day if I would really take a lot. But you could, you know, you could go easily go up to 500 to it. You want to keep highly charged batteries because uh, it'll make your uh, digital camera. I mean, you don't, if you, if you really want good pictures, take your your batteries out when you're just uh, half charged. That way you get super charged. Or buy brand new batteries all the time. <laughs> okay, Andy Hobo Tra uh, Traveler. It's, uh, I also have digital uh, nomadtraveler.com right now. Have a good day.